Hey everybody, it's Shanta Flowers. Today's a big, big day. Today is day 50 of the 90 day video challenge. I cannot believe that I have made 50 videos of anything. That is so cray cray, right? I mean, 50 videos is a lot. Doesn't seem like it though, it goes by pretty fast. But today I wanted to talk to you and let you know that you are more, that you have what it takes, that you aren't different. Let me tell you what I mean by that. When I say that you aren't different, I mean that you're no different than anybody else. Your skills and abilities, who you can be, what you can become. God is not a respecter of persons, right? So he has also equipped you to succeed. Gifts may be different, true, but you're no different. What The reason I want to address this is just because I've just really been looking at and looking at and um, seeing people's comments, whether it be on Facebook, especially Instagram. And I look at people's comments to other people, and sometimes I even look at people's comments to me. And what I don't want people to do is feel like there is a gap. There is a us and a them. Or there's a me and a her. As if that's so different. As if there's something about that person that sets them apart. Usually the only thing that sets somebody apart is time, right? And the fact that they may have invested in their skills, a belief in themselves, things like that. Um, it's not that you can't. You can. So when I watch people, it's almost like hero worship. I see them look at somebody and it's, I see them comment. And sometimes I'll scroll the comments just because I'm so amazed. And it's just like, oh, wow. Oh, sprinkle some of your magic fairy dust on me. Believe me, I've been there. I've thought that maybe I was different. I've heard that. A lot of times we hear that from our parents and we hear that from society. A lot of times we look at a reality show or we'll look at a celebrity and we'll like, oh, look at what they have. Or, who aren't they lucky? Or, they such and such. And, Oh, oh, but that's them. I could never do that. You may not say that out of your mouth, but even if you're thinking it in your head, you're wrong. Because you can. If there is something, there's a dream that God has placed in your heart, you can achieve it. I can achieve the dreams that God has placed in my heart. A lot of times I have to, to preach to myself, right? You heard the term preaching to the choir. And I have to preach to myself because it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous that we place others so high and above ourselves as if there's something just so different about them. As if they were made with special powers or they're some sort of superhero. They're not. And this is not to, to at all to um, belittle or downgrade anybody. Um, I think it's great to model after people. I have several people that I model after, that I look to for inspiration and motivation. But what I try to work on myself is to make sure that I'm just doing that. When I find myself in a place of, it's almost like, when I find myself in a place where it's like hero worship, when I find myself where it's a place where I'm, I'm making the gap too wide, I'm too focused on maybe what I feel like they can do or what they have that I don't have, then I have to take a step back and realize that, hey, we bleed the same blood. Hi. And we put our pants on the same way. So that's just a big deal. So I don't know. I just felt like that was somebody. And for my 50th, my 50th video, I really wanted to. Yes, you know swim class today. I wanted to talk to you about not doing that. About looking at yourself as more. When I was in Vegas uh, this past weekend, we had... Um, uh, speaker John Maxwell, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's amazing. And he talked about, I want friends, not fans. And that's how I want to live my life. I don't want people just to follow me. I don't want people to think that I'm just, I'm so different from them. My hope, my prayer for making these videos, my prayer for my contribution in the world is that people are better. That every time they encounter me and they get a smile or they, they get a compliment 
or they get a word that they leave in a better place than where I found them. Now, I'm not saying that people are below or anything like that. I hope the same thing for myself when I encounter someone else. You always, you should want the same thing. Leave people better than when you saw them. When you when you saw them and they were and they were really happy, make them extremely happy. We always want to leave people in a better place. That's why you guys see me. You see me with no makeup on. You see acne bumps and you see rollers and things. I don't do that to to be crazy. I do that to show people that I'm just like them. Whatever I can do, you can do. So look at that when you're looking at everybody else. Whatever they can do, you can do. You just have to believe that you can do it. So stop with the hero worship. Look for motivation. Look for inspiration. But understand that you have everything you need inside of you. You've been equipped with everything that you need from the most high. So just ask him for help and he'll lead the way. Be obedient. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Let me help the little one.